Hi everyone! Today we will take a good look at this beautiful, girly and stylish box -it set that contains four adorable coming-of-age books that please people at any age because they are pure, nostalgic and deep in a simple and truthful way. This is the Puffing in Bloom collection. The Puffing description says that this is a collection both young and old will cherish forever, and I couldn't agree more. This is a collection by Puffin Books, with cover illustrations by Anna Bond. Anna Bond of Rifle Paper, a worldwide stationery and gift brand, is an artist known for her whimsical designs, which often include hand-painted illustrations and lettering. In this beautiful box we have Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnet, and Heidi by Johanna Spirey, and a cute Little Women themed bookmarker also. I'm going to show you all the details of each book and I'll also tell you a little bit about the plot. Let me tell you in advance that I'm a huge fan of this collection. I think it is very affordable and I'm always pleased when a big commercial publisher attempts to release visually pleasing books that offer a special design to increase its value. Despite the fact that these copies use standard materials, the books are well built, and I only have a problem with Little Women's Spine, since it's a pretty thick book and the book's spine after some reading sessions was deformed. Without further ado, let me show you these beauties. Let's start with Anne of Green Gables. Here we have a beautiful cover, gorgeous and papers. And I will read for you the blurb. Marilla and Matthew Cuthbert are in for a big surprise. They are waiting for an orphan boy to help with the work at Green Gables, but a skinny, red-haired girl turns up instead. Feisty and full of spirit, Anne Shirley charms her way into the Cuthbert's affection with her vivid imagination and constant chatter. It's not long before Anne finds herself in trouble, but soon it's impossible to imagine life without her. And here we have extra content. We have author files, who's who in Green Gables, some things to think about, some things to do, and a glossary. Next we have Little Women, a book that is very dear to me. The cover is also beautiful. And I find brilliant the fact that each book in this collection has different themed endpapers. I couldn't get this book enough praise, but I must confess that reading this small but bulky edition wasn't the best. I think they should have published the two parts separately. Grown Up Meg, Tomboy's Joe, Timid Beth and Precious Amy the four March sisters couldn't be more different, but with their father away at war and their mother working to support a family, they have to rely on one another. Whether they are putting on a play, forming a secret society or celebrating Christmas, there's one thing they can't help wondering. Will father return home safely? And we also have extras. We have a session talking about little women in Hollywood, who is who in little women, some things to think about, and the glossary. Next we have a little princess, and here is the blurb. Alone in a new country, wealthy Sara Crew tries to settle in and make friends at a boarding school. But when she learns that she'll never see her beloved father again, her life is turned upside down. Transformed from princess to pauper, she must swap dancing lessons and luxury for hard work and a room in the attic. 
where she find that kindness and generosity are all the riches she truly needs. And finally, we have Heidi. At the age of five, little orphan Heidi is sent to live with her grandfather in the Alps. Everyone in the village is afraid of him, but Heidi is fascinated by his long beard and bushy grey eyebrows. She loves her life in the mountains, playing in the sunshine and growing up among the goats and birds. But one terrible day, Heidi is collected by her aunt and made to live with a new family in town. Heidi can't bear to be away from her grandfather. Can she find her way back up the mountain where she belongs? And as extras we have Arthur File, Who's Who in Heidi, Some Things to Do, Mountains Under Threat, explaining how mountain areas are in danger over the world, questions and answers about Switzerland, and a session called Cheesy Science, talking about the science of cheese. The entire collection was pretty well thought, and if Puffin published more books like this, I would buy them. My only critique is the glue binding and the quality of paper, that could be slightly better. But considering this is a commercial collection, made to sell a lot, and considerably affordable, I do recommend it, especially for the girls. Have you enjoyed this video? What do you think about this collection? What about the books? Have you read them? Let me know in the comments, okay? See ya and thanks for watching!